And we're back. Uh, let's find out who we're with here from the UC Extension. Lynn Wunderlich, Farm Advisor with UC Cooperative Extension in oh. the Central Sierra and serving Amador County. All right. And? Mary Tran, Master Gardener in El Dorado County. Okay. Great. Well, we have uh, a lot in common. We're both at the same altitudes, right? Just mm -hmm. about. Yeah. And is this beetle, this bug? Uh, it's a bug. Yeah. This right? is the brown marmorated stink bug. Let me see if I can... Hold this a little bit close, and the camera might be able to zoom in a little bit on that. You see that? And we have pictures of it too that we yeah, brought. Yeah, we have pictures, but this is what they look like in a bottle. Okay. Yeah, in a bottle. Yeah. Okay. They're tucked away there so that they can't get out. Is this a weevil kind of a thing? It is a true bug, and we're a true bug. Yeah, we're right. So it's in the order Hemiptera, right. um, and it's a new invasive pest to California. So we are here to let people know to be on the lookout for brown marmorated stink bug. And um, where did this guy come from? Came from East Asia, China, okay. and it's uh, been in California since about 2005. Okay, um, that was relatively new. It's okay, relatively really. new, and it's a it's a pest of many crops. So we okay. are concerned about it coming to the foothills. And I guess the reason why I said kind of a weevil is kind of like a. a Big pointy front end, kind of, kind of like Yeah, that, but, but it's not. But it it's got not it's that. it's a true bug, so it's got a long mouth part that it oh, sticks okay. into plant cells and sucks the juices so out. So that's the thing that uh, makes a thing a true bug. Actually, uh, the thing that makes it. We have a picture of that, Tommy. Uh, yeah, uh, that it's. We can show. Yeah, I brought some, we uh, we brought a picture. Pictures. Yeah. I think you'll get around to that. Okay, and uh, when you get that, there it is. Is that, is that the picture? Well, that's Tell us picture, what we're looking at right now. Is that the range? That's actually the picture of the current distribution okay. that we know of a brown marmorated stink bug. So like I was saying, it came into California in 2005, mm -hmm. into Southern California, and it was there for several years without causing much attention or damage. And then it moved recently into Sacramento and Stockton in uh, reproducing populations. Um, is this basically in like the populated areas, or is um, it in, if you know well, what I mean, it, is it it's, people oriented at the moment? Well, it's not a good flyer. Okay. So the way we think it's moving around is as a hitchhiker with people. Okay. Um, and um, but it is a is it is a pest of many crops. So it's uh, it came first into the East Coast. It's been on the East Coast for a while now, hmm. um, causing uh, damage in crops there, vegetable crops, tomatoes, corn, peppers, yeah, okay. um, tree crops, and we have some pictures of the damage that we brought along too. Um, pears, apples, hmm. so. Okay, so I think we're looking at a picture of the pear? Yes, yes, and this is classic stink bug damage. So they insert their mouth parts into the fruit. They um, uh, take with the mouth uh, enzymes that cause pithy, and corkiness of the fruit, um, hmm. and uh, and very very devastating damage. It is considered now the uh, premier pest of apples. There was just a big brown marmorade stink oh bug meeting, and so we uh, we in El Dorado County and Apple Hill region right. are concerned about seeing this pest in the apples there, um, mm. and it can also be a, a pest in wine grapes. So it, it because it's a stinky if it, um, odor when it's crushed, if it gets into the clusters of the wine grapes, okay. it's going to be a problem for the wine grape growers. So, and it's also a nuisance. So, pest. how do we basically uh, combat this bug? Well, right now we're tr we're trying to look for it. Okay. So, Mary here is a master gardener, has helped me in trapping, looking. So we're looking. Okay. How do we how do we do that, Mary? What do you want people here to to probably get involved with doing? Well, there are two things. This is the trapping that we set up out in orchards and areas where the bugs might be coming to have some kind of agricultural impact. Okay. In addition, um, people's eyes. But this are, is to trap them to find out if they're in the area. Is that right? Or, uh, yeah. Is that yeah. What the idea we have. Here is? Right. We put okay. um, chemicals that attract the okay. bugs, and we go out every four weeks and see what we've got. So far, I'm happy to say we haven't found any. The other thing is we really count on people to notice what's climbing up the branches of the trees around their Chinese pistache or their tree of heaven, because this time of year, you'll see them all clustered up on the branches mm -hmm. or 
in oh. their house, and they really, if they see them, if you see them in your house, it's really important. Call Lynn so that we know. Okay. And uh, Lynn, we have a phone number? Yes, um, it is. Here, does the paper help you? That, That's the wrong one? Do you want me to write it down? No, but no. you can do that. You want me? I'll write it down really good. What is it? 530-5505. If you think you see the brown marmorated stink bug, it overwinters in sheltered areas. So this time of the year, it's going to amass at, on windows of homes. And so people... Okay, so they, that's what they would look for. Yeah. Why uh, would they choose the windows? Is it warmer? Well, they're just... Right. They're, they're looking for a sheltered area to overwinter as an adult. So. Okay. It's more okay. comfy than okay. the bark. And if you to recognize it, it's going to have a blunt nose... It's going to have smooth shoulders, okay, and it's going to have white guy, bands um, back up. Yeah. on its antennae, and its legs will have white bands. Oh. So it's very, and it's about hmm. the size of your thumbnail. About the size of your thumbnail, white bands on its legs. And, and antennae. antennae. And, and, the, antennae. and the key thing is the smooth shoulders. Okay, yeah. the smooth shoulders. <laughs> all right. Yeah, there's a rough-shouldered stink bug that we get sent in all the time looks very similar but okay so if you find a stink bug we'll probably put a picture of that up on our uh, website then and i'm, that would and I'm be sure awesome. there have been pictures in the newspapers as i've seen on it, the we're UC trying to really IPM get the word website. out on this yeah. because you want to get these uh you know uh, as soon as we can now if people find them they call you then what happens what do you do to well, combat then, them uh, yeah well then we're going maybe? to let the california department of food and ag know that okay. we've, we've got them in the area and um, these, unfortunately, stink bugs are really hard to kill with pesticides. Okay. Um, there are kind of the common um, classes of pesticides being used in the East Coast and the Northwest right now. But what we're really banking on is a biological control agent. Okay, good. That's so good. there's a UC uh, Riverside researchers working on a little tiny parasitoid, wasp. It's okay. an egg parasitoid that they found have hitchhiked in to the U.S. with this brown marmorated stink bug. Oh, okay. And so they're, they're uh, common enemies. They're in yeah, that sense. Yeah, natural okay. enemies. All right. All yes, right. yes. And so hmm. we're they're in quarantine right now at UC Riverside, being tested to make sure they don't attack any of our okay. and, native. Okay, uh, and I'm sure bugs. you're looking at that to make sure the the, the wasp or whatever was it a wasp? Yes, it's a tiny that, wasp. Uh, that that one doesn't wind up doing other things but it's been in china for a long time so we probably know its history right and it's probably safe over there yes right? yes but that's what's okay, being tested so that's that's a good thing all yeah. right well thanks here's for the problem us. what we want to do is uh if you see these let these ladies know or someone at the uc, UC cooperative, cooperative extension, extension office and uh there's phone number one more time i'll say it five three zero six two one fifty five oh five or you I'll can contact your local ag commissioner in amador that's patty right liskey okay and thank you, ladies, for uh, coming by. I really appreciate it. And uh, thank you, I'll Tom. be looking for these guys. Okay. And gals, I guess. But. <laughs> All right. And uh, stay with us. There's more to come right after this. Let's go. Thank you.